Greetings, comrades. I, uh, had a slight panic attack because I thought that episode 5 did not record the sound of my voice, but it did. Goody, goody. Okay. Um, we have stuff to do. So, really don't care about any of this anymore. Don't care about the propaganda efforts anymore. War measures. Yeah, we can add them, I guess. Uh, that's political actions. Economic policy. Meh. Foreign arms purchases. The gold reserves we liberated could be used to obtain foreign arms, which we are in desperate need of. International opinion is not necessarily supportive of this. Okay. Uh, we could do that. Because why not, I guess? Sure. Oh, okay, okay. After for 20 days, and then 1 and 7 will happen, so we either get a thousand uh, British, French, Soviet, American, Swedish, German, or Italian rifles, and we definitely get a thousand British rifles. Interesting. I didn't know there were a bunch of Brits that uh, went down here. I guess that's kind of what they're implying, almost, is that the Brits, uh, there were a lot of Brits. Maybe it was Scottish, there. Yeah. The true Scotsman. No true Scotsman doesn't support the anarchist Spanish revolution. <laughs> Shh. Yes, I've heard of no true Scotsman logical fallacy. Stop complaining in the comments section, you fucks. Okay. International brigades. Our cause has attracted much international attention, and people who are true Scotsmen from all over the world have come to fight the fascist threat with us. No true Scotsman will be turned away, as long as they do their part for the health of the community. We will organize them into international brigades. Yeah, they better do their part to help the community. Better not put sugar in their porridge. No true Scotsman would do that. <laughs> that that's where it came from. Is uh, I, be I believe that's where it came from. Is someone was like saying, "Oh no, true Scotsman would put sugar in their porridge," and then the Scotsman was like, "I put sugar in my porridge," and then he, or no, no, no Scotsman would put sugar in their porridge. And Scotsman said, "I put sugar in my porridge," and then he says, "No true Scotsman," <laughs> and then that the guys uh, and the Scotsman then says. The definition of a Scotsman is a man of Scottish descent. There is nothing about porridge eating in there. And so, thus the fallacy was born. Um. Muy buen amigo. Let's slow it down, we need everyone to get to the lines. Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian territory. They are upsetting the already fragile balance in the region. Well, it's what they do. Uh, Listo, señor. Italians. Gersh, darn Italians. Oh, we can't have that anymore. Okay, well, I guess I should have gotten the other guy then. Compagnia Telefonica. Oh, because we don't have Madrid. Oh, I'm. S damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright. Anarchist uprising in Spanish Civil War. A new government of Tepson, reasserting centralized control over the mostly independent acting anarchist communes in northeastern Spain. <laughs> yes, northeastern. Northeastern. Uh, as well as Stalinist repression of dissent uh, from communist viewpoints, has now led to full blown infighting in the Republican Front. Initially limited to street fighting and low scale clashes between the militias and government or Stalinist forces, the unwillingness for either side to compromise has meant the conflict has rapidly escalated in just a few days. The real allocation of military resources to deal with this internal threat means front lines against the nationalists have been noticeably weakened. The time to cast off the yoke is now. Wait a minute. Yeet that yoke. Or you're broke. <laughs> Carlos Spain is a thing. Interesting. And they just. They're so tiny! Oh, the no, 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 I didn't say through that. Alright, goody goody. I hate that. Okay. It's still Franco, but then there's. Carlos. El Falcone. 
the Hefe. He's the chief. He gets weakly war support. And it's still Azania over here. Petition for French aid. Uh, so what do we have? Can we tell? Yeah, they went down to maintain the Second Republic. Okay. They have an unknown focus, but they definitely went down the supremacy of the Communion. Because that's how you get the Carlists. A methodical approach. Well, they've, uni they've unified the National Front, but apparently the Communion just split off anyways. <laughs> Alright. You know, I maybe I just am, aren't taught, haven't been taught a whole bunch about the Spanish Civil War. That, as far as I'm aware, both of the the right and the left sides were able to just kind of get along decently among themselves. That's why we don't, you know. <laughs> I, I don't understand it really. I don't understand why this is a thing, really. Wary of being increasingly sidelined and having their influence over the Nationalist Front more and more curtailed, the Carlist forces under Manuel Falconde have renounced their affiliation with the Nationalist cause, declaring their own independent insurrection. Carlist Riquettes, predominantly in the North of the country, hmm, have turned on their erstwhile allies, while at the same time continuing the fight against the Republican enemies. The effects on their military position in this war are being downplayed by the Nationalist leadership, but it is evident that the current chaos, current chaos presents ample opportunity for the Republicans. This is better than we could have hoped for. thing about this is that all of our uh, our forces started away from the front line and they have to go there instrucciones listo para avanzar Assigned divisions, you say? Mountaineers! Ah, yes. Here you go. I've read naval battle results. Defeat. Whatever. Uh. Sí, señor. Oh, the Carlists even have their berets and everything. We still look the same, though. I guess because we were anarchists the whole time, so, you know, we didn't look any different right now. No. They have a similar hat, though. Interesting. Although our hat is, you know, actually, like, a thing. They just have some red on it. We have the, the red and black because we're the anarchists. Oh, yeah. Where are you again? Right. You go there. Yeah, 
Carlos didn't last long, did they? <laughs> Carlos defeated, despite fanatical fighting. <laughs> the last Carlos pockets of resistance have been defeated by our forces. Though the conflict is greatly simplified as a result, our fight continues against our remaining enemies. But we are making progress. We see some guns. Cool. I wonder if we have a unique thing here, because, you know, if you look closely at a place, you can see, like, you know, party radical, democratic, okay, well, let's, let's take a close look. And then it shows you the party. There's party and ideology. And those tend to be, you know, for democratic, it's either um, conservative, liberal, or social, social democrat. For communist, it's either Marxist or Stalinist. Usually, I believe it's what it is. And then for uh, for fascists, there's Rexists. Uh, they're very rare. It's mostly, you know, of course, fascist and uh, uh, national socialist if you're Germany. And then there, in the, in the non-aligned, there is oligarchic, despotic. But then we have this anarchist communist. I wonder. Anarchism, yes, we have a re we have a unique thing. Anarchism is the rejection of authority itself, promoting the division of society into self-managing and self-governing collectives instead of a singular centralized state. So, Germanic will go tension limit. Joint faction, lend lease, tensions, and volunteers, guarantee, ideology, drift, defend. All that. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of bad things. Not a bad thing, Zedalilu. Listo, señor. Instrucciones. Sí, señor. I consider myself somewhat of a musical person. I think I might, you know, I like music. There's a, uh, 
kind of like a small hip hop group. I don't know. It's probably actually famous, and I just never heard of them because I'm stupid. Run the jewels. <laughs> RTJ. Uh, yeah, pretty neat. I, uh, yeah, I don't really like a lot of hip hop, but their stuff's good. So yeah, it's cool. Go check them out, I guess. Inf Infantry equipment. We are losing some, so let's go get some. Cause why not, son? Yeah, that's right, son. <laughs> Can you stop them? Yes, goody goody. Can you attack? Goody goody. You can stop. Yeah. Oh shoot, looks like we're gonna be fighting against the nationalists. Yeah, Spain's gonna go. Oh damn. Oh damn. No, no, no. Ah. <laughs> Slowly but surely we win the race, and it will be a pie on your face. It could be a tough fight against the uh, the fascists. You look at that. I mean, we have a lot of divisions, for sure, for sure. They have a lot of factories and a lot of support. We don't have that. And the Republicans are basically kind of done. Guarden las distancias. You know, with that in mind. Avancen. I bet if we can take Pice fast, though, we could probably get some stuff. Anyways, we got international brigades. We need that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't care about shed burdens. It's a dead end in a tree, and it doesn't give us that much. Uh, it's factory output when we need that, and we're do other stuff. Whereas Libres would be very nice to get uh, ASAP. So let's get agrarian collectivization. Let's consumer goods factories, collectivize organization of our agriculture, we'll ensure all who live in the communes have the food they require, rather than sell the harvests where they make the most profit. Bueno. Listo. 
instrucciones. Technically, Spain owns this. We're gonna get Navarra, hopefully Pais Vasco soon, and uh, hopefully Granada and Cordoba and stuff, maybe, I don't know. Uh, we'll see about it. <laughs> I wonder if other countries have like a uh, opinion malice of us because we're anarchists. No, uh, not necessarily. Alright. Just different ideology, opinion. British infantry equipment once again. I'll save it up for a little bit. We'll see. We'll see if we actually need it or not or anything. Because we are making some, apparently, now. Special Forces cap? Oh, damn, right, because... Hehe, <laughs> okay. Just do that, and then, um... We'll be okay though. We can steal some as well. So, yeah, there's that. We only have one military factory. <laughs> it's a bit, bit jarring. So we have Navarra now. We don't have any more factories because of it, but yeah, whatever, it's fine. Um, do we have cores everywhere? No, we don't. 
Not everywhere. Pies Vasco, we have... Well, we don't... Oh yeah, we, okay, we have his core. We don't have a... Oh no, we do! We do have... Okay, foreign claims. Foreign claims, yeah. Still, it's a core. I get... Because that's occupied. Yeah, okay, okay. We have cores everywhere, so we don't even need to worry about garrisons or anything. That's pretty nice. Um... Listo! Booyah! Bill Bow Baggins is now ours. And a little bit more. <laughs> can we, when can we get that? Okay, seven more days. And they're having an impending Cordoba offensive. I see. No, no, no. Everyone go over there. We really don't need people here. Oh, yeah. Sign yourselves there. Make this a little bit wider. Sure. Okay. Dying. Oh yeah, yeah. Ordenes. Ordenes. Listo. Atención. Listo, señor. Okay, we can do the offensive now. Neat. Um, okay, we have to border a state in order to get something from it, so we can only do Granada or Cordoba. Um, do Cordoba, I guess. Alright, you know what? I think we're doing pretty damn well. Okay, so, I would like to thank you so very much for watching, 
And remember, comrades, solidarity forever.